Hey guys, um, I am back with you today as promised with another Spellbinders video. Today we are going to play with the Spellbinders small die of the month. This is the one we played with just a little bit in the club kit of the month. And today we're going to play with these tiles and design a card with it. We are also going to use the large die of the month and we are going to use these um, outside border dies and the frame to um, create our um, A2 design around our tiles. So I did have a couple questions about the clubs over at Spellbinders, so I just wanted to address those. Um, I will leave the links below and I will also leave the frequently asked questions link for the Spellbinders website about the clubs, but the clubs are released to see on the website on the first of every month and then new subscribers can subscribe on the sixth of every month. So between the first and the sixth, or really I would say the fifth, um, current subscribers can make changes. And then on the sixth, new subscribers can jump in and subscribe if those kits are available. Sometimes they do sell out. So make sure you check on the 6th to see what you're interested in and go ahead and subscribe on the 6th if possible. Of course, during the month, you can still check back and see what's available. But um, you do get special perks and everything. And there are also um, value clubs, which are a mixture of the different clubs. So make sure you scroll down and look at the club value packs. Um, I did mention that I'm in the total value pack and I had someone ask about that. The total value pack includes everything that Spellbinders offers in the month except the add-ons. They do have add-on um, die sets. But the um, total value is all eight clubs and it's for $100 a month with free shipping. Um, you get all the same perks um, as being a club member, and um, but it's a lot more items for the dollar amount, which is why I'm investing in that for my videos, for video content with new products. So I am not being sponsored by Spellbinders at this time. I do hope to be sponsored by Spellbinders in the future. Um, that's why I'm bringing content with their products in hopes to bring in more subscribers and more followers and um, build my um, channel. So I'm just bringing new products and um, I hope you all enjoy. So um, without further ado, let's play. Yes. Look what I've been doing. I have been playing with my scraps. So this is just a small tip that these die sets are perfect for your scraps. So if you've got all these gorgeous colors of cardstock, Gather a set of colors, pick out some colors that you like. I had all these little pieces left over from my heartfelt projects. Um, get all your little pieces together and don't use all that paper. There's brand new pieces of paper like you've seen on my wall behind me. Don't use those papers. Use these scraps and let's build a card from them. So... Here we are with an A2 size card base and I've cut a piece of light lavender and these do not ask me brand names because we are dealing with scraps. So <laughs> I have no idea. This is a texture weave, probably basil if I had to guess, but um, it's a texture cardstock. And um, I've cut it the same size as my A2. So that's four and a fourth by five and a half. And we're going to, I'm going to show you a little trick. You guys have probably seen this before, but if you ever, if you like, like I do, like having your cardstock, your, I, I don't, I don't love having the white on the border. A lot of people love that, but the reason I steer away from that, and, and I do love the way it looks, but the reason I steer away from it is because of photography. When I'm taking photos and it has a white edge, the photography isn't as good. For me, I haven't figured it out yet. So just being honest, but so for me, I like to have the solid color border on the outside most of the time. But 
Um, so when you cut yours like that, put your card base all the way in your Misty or any, you can use any kind of corner like that in any of your tools, your stamp platforms. And just butt it up into the corner. Make sure both cards are in the corner. And it's a lot easier to get it exactly perfect when you do that than trying to sit and move it around. Though I was asked by a dear friend of mine recently if I'm liking the Nouveau Glue. And I, she is a heartfelt friend of mine. That's how I met her. And we have been using the, um, the Art Glitter Dries Clear Glue forever because heartfelt, that's what we all use at heartfelt. And I like the Art Glitter, but it dries really quick. Um, so if you move quick, it's a great glue. You cannot see it. It's dry clear, just like it says. But if you need a little bit more time, this deluxe adhesive gives you that time. So um, just to answer her question, as I did, but just in case you missed that response um, and you're wondering, I have not tried the Barely Art glue yet. It is something Spellbinder sells, and I have not tried that one yet, but when I do get some, I will let you all know that also. Now for this first layer, I have cut it a fourth inch, I believe. Yep, a fourth inch shorter. So that would be four inches by five and a fourth. And I embossed it with the 3D embossing folder of the month um, for February, which was Spring Burst. And let me bring this up to you so you can see it a little better. I did spray it with water. And I am not 100% sure, but this one may have sold out last month. So sometimes when items don't sell out from the clubs of the month, they do become available in the next month at some point. So sometimes they become available in the store. So just wanted to let you know that you can keep checking back. Um, but anyways, so that's what I'm using here. But you can use any, any embossing folder that you have, either standard or 3D. But I am finding adding the water to the front and the back is really making a difference in my embossing. So I got that tip from a fellow YouTuber, and um, I'm really finding that helpful. So I'm going to line that up right here. Easy peasy. I love the, the extra dimension the embossing gives. Okay, now I told you in the intro that we're going to incorporate that large die of the month, which is where I'm getting this die from, and also this elongated oval from. And I decided I wanted to use some vellum. I thought it would give a softer look. And at first I did this with it. And when I took my tiles, which we'll build one of these in just a minute. But when I took my tiles and I was designing this, thinking this would look really pretty if I fit my diamond tiles into a diamond in the center. I wanted to keep things soft, but this kind of got lost. Um, but I still want the focus to be on the center. So I decided to cut another piece. I had, luckily, had more of this scrap. So I cut another piece underneath and thought that this would give it just enough color. So that's what we're going to do. And I think we will build this first. So let's get out our little pieces and I'll show you how this goes together. These are a lot of fun. They are not difficult. They look difficult, but they are not difficult. So don't let them scare you. They do have little pieces. 
these little tiniest ones you can use a rhinestone or a crystal for if you do not like how little they are um, and with my nails they do become irritating at times but it's not hard so I'm just turning all of them right side up here but I've seen a lot of people use rhinestones instead of the little tiny centers there so just use a gem um, pick or placement tool this is a Gina K designs one and we will first glue this onto the background I really had fun die cutting these different pieces and figuring out how to layer the colors with all my little scraps you should have seen me with the scraps out everywhere it was hilarious and you know what, I I had to dust off my scraps. That's how long it had been since I had used scraps. So if you have guys have got a lot of scraps laying around, either dust them off or throw them out. <laughs> Listen to me. Listen to me giving advice. You guys, you, you guys know it's so hard to throw away scraps. But I got them out and I was like, oh my gosh, I've got such gorgeous scraps. <laughs> And I started just having a ball with this. So you've got two of this shape plus the little center. And then you've got two this shape. And it's got this inside piece for detail that goes on in between those. Then you have these separate little star flowers that have those little guys in the center. And this little piece goes right here use my tweezers it goes right here on this edge like if a stem was coming up to it so we will start building here and then we'll just add a little bit one other thing I wanted to say about this glue is the one thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have a precision tip, but Nuvo does sell a precision tip for it. Tonic Studios is just out of the precision tip on their website. So I'm waiting for them patiently to come back in <laughs> and then I will have the precision tip. <laughs> It actually comes in a two pack and they're just out of them right now. So there is a really good sale on these bottles though right now on the tonic website. Look at that, isn't that cute? They just line up there. Like with art glitter, I wouldn't have been able to move that. Hopefully here. Let's see, this one goes up top. You can see here, this little dip right here is where that flower meets. It goes, slides right in that little dip like it was made for it. little tiny piece here on the tip end and 
and then this one I was hoping these reverse tweezers would help me with my nails this is all learning for me I'm learning right along with you guys there we go perfect and now there's a place for, on either side for these little guys put a little dollop of glue on each of those whoops It's being stubborn. There we go. Turn over, silly guy. And get this one and put it right there. And this actually. Let's poke it to another side of it to get it right where you want it. And then push it down just a little bit. Okay. I'm just dropping everything, aren't I? One of these goes on one side, and one side has a little tip where it actually goes, and the other side doesn't. And then this one. Goes on this side. Like that. There you go. So now we will glue these on here. In a diamond. So do we want the periwinkle flowers up or I think I want them the other way. The purple ones up. The other ones look like they're looking down. I'm not going to worry about the, um, the adhesive on the back of this because we're going to be putting it down on the purple layer here. I'm using the lines of the table to help me try to center this. you imagine all the different designs you could do? And this is just one of the tiles. There are four different shaped tiles. So if you like geometrics, um, this set is just gorgeous. And this is the small die of the month. This isn't even the large die of the month. So you get a lot of dies for the small die of the month, even. 
a little bit over, but that's okay. Okay, so now for this layer, I am going to glue right where my glue is back here. So it's hidden. And that way we have that nice, opaque, soft look there. And I did not get my diamond centered. It is over to the side a little bit. I am not perfect. I know you guys are going, oh, what? It is what it is. I'm going to sit that right there. It's still pretty. I love these colors. Then we're going to put this. This is cut exactly the size that this piece is cut here, which is four and a, no, it's four inches by five and a half. No, four inches by five and a fourth. So that's what this die measures. So it will fit that layer perfectly. And we are going to put some of this on here. I haven't glued that center down yet because I don't know if I want to pop it up or not. I wasn't planning to. So I think it will already be raised a little bit as it is. Just get a little bit of the excess off on my wrist here. Hoping it doesn't squeeze out too much. So pretty. Sorry I keep reaching ahead of me. I have a I have a laptop in front of me that keeps wanting to go to sleep on me and it allows me to see my top view camera learning all of this technology has been so fun and still continues to be so much fun but I needed to turn off my sleep mode and I thought I had but evidently my computer keeps wanting to go to sleep so I keep reaching forward and touching the mouse pad. So excuse my hand, but I want to make sure you're in camera the whole time. All right, so that's one of them. And while I glue the other one, let me just grab a block here real quick. We'll just leave that on there right there while I put glue on this one. See, dies like this will be a lot easier to glue with this glue once I get the precision tip. But this tip here is, is fine, but it's not a precision tip. And I do love my precision tips. Just about done. Okay. 
My hands are getting sticky. Let's get this piece. There's a little piece of foil right here. There we go. Let me grab. Let's see. This is just a very, very damp baby wipe that I just had nearby. Very, not very damp, very, barely damp, should I say. Okay, so what I've done here for the sentiment is I've, I, I, I pre-embossed this ahead of time just to save time on the video. I've used the clear stamp of the month. It's called Pocket Bunny. And I used the um, Beautiful Day Sentiment, which I am not seeing here on my tape. Oh, here it is. But it goes right here. But it says, have a beautiful day. And there it is. And then I used the die itself to cut out a piece of the gold foil scrap paper. So we are going to line these up, and this just continues our theme of the gold and white for our little sentiment. So I'll glue that. And you know what? I might end up putting it like right there and that'll disguise the fact that I'm over just a little bit. I was going to put it at the bottom. I was going to put it down here, but you know what? I think I'm going to put it right there. And that'll just disguise the fact that that diamond is just a little bit off. So let me get a couple little blue dots here real quick. See if I have my minis. I should have had these out already. Here, I'll just use one of these little strips. Scissors would be good. Perfect. Just about the right length, too. Trim just a little bit off the side. Yeah, okay. So let's glue this down. And I am going to glue it directly down because I popped up the sentiment. This is on the 3D embossing folder, so I'm putting a, quite a bit of glue on it. And look how that just fits perfectly right in between those dies. And I'm gonna sit that on there for just a second. Put that on there so I don't lose it. I really wanna thank you guys for hanging out with me another afternoon or morning or evening and thank you for all of your questions and comments and um, reaching out to me and checking in and seeing how I'm doing um, it's been great having your support I will put this on there and we will call her done you know what, I'm going to put a little bit of that adhesive on here because it's going over something a little bit lumpy there. Let's just make sure she's going to stick. Nothing worse than the recipient receiving a card that has the sentiment already coming off. But you know, something's uneven. Just disguise it just a little bit, people. Add a rhinestone. Or... 
a sentiment in an unusual place. So there we go. There it is. Our card featuring our small and large die our, um, dies of the month club and our 3D embossing folder along with the stamp and die of the month. So um, I will see you next time. For the next week or so, I'm going to be working on heartfelt creation projects for the design team to be mailed off to them. And then I will be back to video making. So I will see you guys probably in a couple weeks, maybe a week. We'll see. But just talk to you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.